Fare thee well to Princess Landing Stage, River Mersey, fare thee well. I am bound for California, it's a place that I know right well. So fare thee well, I know I am I return at night to be with thee. sing a lot of songs about the sea and tell a lot of stories about the sea, so I'm going to do exactly that. Um, first, uh, a short story about the sea, about a, a sea captain who came from Cork, best county in Ireland. Um, <laughs> did you ever hear about the, uh, the Cork man with the inferiority complex? No. Uh, he thought he was just as good as everyone else. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the sea captain was from Cork, and he was very well liked by his crew. Uh, you know, he ran a tight ship and was very fair and so on. Uh, this is somewhere now two, three hundred years ago, it was a sailing ship, and it, uh, it was a merchant ship which went from port to port trading. And the ship was on its way to Jamaica, somewhere in the Caribbean, when a cry came from up in the crow's nest, Pirates Ho! And uh, sure enough, there on the horizon was uh, a sail, and the Jolly Roger was flying at the top of the main mast, and the captain quickly called, All hands on deck! And then he turned to his first mate and he said, Go, quickly, get my red shirt. First mate was like, okay, off he went down to the cabin, got the red shirt, back up, captain stripped off, on with the red shirt, got ready for a battle, and they were duly boarded, the captain was there at the front of the fray, and cutlass flying, pistol, pistol firing, the whole lot, they repelled the boarders, they won the day, and thankfully the ship was safe and the crew with it. And all was well until the following day, when again, making good time and good sail, they, there was a cry from the crow's nest. Pirates ho! And this time it was, it was two sails on the horizon. Again, the Jolly Roger was flying from the top of the mainmast, both of them. And the captain wasted no time. All hands on deck! Everyone up. And again turned to his first mate. Quick, quick, get my red shirt. He went down to the cabin, got the red shirt, back up to the captain. Captain stripped off on with the red shirt, ready for battle. Again, cutlasses and pistols, the whole lot. Fierce, frightful, furious fighting. But again, the captain saved the day, led his men to victory, 
and the ship and the crew were safe. And that evening, the first mate decided, you know, I have to ask him, I have to ask him. He went down to the captain's cabin, knocked on the door and said, uh, you know, thank you so much for leading us again to safety today. But I have to ask, why the red shirt? Why have you asked me to get the red shirt today and yesterday? And the captain said, look, it's like this. If I were to be struck in battle and wounded, to be bleeding, I wouldn't like the crew to see that and lose heart and lose courage. So that's why I wear the red shirt. And the first mate was very impressed with this, very impressed indeed. And he went up to the forecastle and told the sailors all about it. And they all agreed, you know, this is a very brave and courageous man wearing the red shirt so that if blood were to flow, we wouldn't lose heart. It's amazing. And the next day, again, they were making good sail, nearly at their destination of Jamaica. But again, the cry came from the crow's nest, Pirates Ho! And this time, there were 10 sails <laughs> on the horizon. And each one had the Jolly Roger flying from the top of the main mast. The captain wasted no time and he said, All hands on deck, then turned to his first mate and said, Fetch my brown trousers. <laughs> 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we did we did some about three hours.